Thanks Pete Moore, one of PCM guns. I'm out hunting this morning. I've just tested Sal's new 505 uh, XT, which is their thumbhole stock brand new rifle. Really nice bit of kit, really really growing on me. Sad thing, I've got to get to send it back quite quickly. So today was the last day I could get a chance to go and shoot it. Okay, let's put it this way. I'm not as young and pretty as I used to be, nor that athletic. I put it down to my um, exciting lifestyle in the army as a younger man and my eclectic hunting career as an older man. I've had some fun, no question about it. I'm 71 now and I have noticed that uh, my right leg and hip don't seem to be quite in sync with my left leg and hip, which means climbing th up things can be a bit dodgy, if not dangerous. Therefore, let's for that read high seats. I don't have a real problem walking, but it's just that so I thought there must be a way of getting around it because I love hunting and I want to carry on until I can't and if and if there's a strategy to be had I'll find it so it occurred to me that a decent rifle support and some sort of field chair could be the answer and a few months ago I uh, dug up my old quake shooting chair which is plastic lightweight rotary and it's it's a nice little chair but after 20 or 30 minutes sitting on it it is literally a pain in the ass. It's just too uncomfortable. So it proved the point, but it wasn't what I needed. Equally so, I had uh, my blazer sticks, which are the carbon sticks, which fold out, which are an excellent piece of kit, which I use for foot stalking quite a lot. And they offered a reasonable bit of support, but again, wasn't ideal. So I started to look around, and I found a chair called Black Sierra, which is here. We'll look at it in detail a little bit in a minute. And I had on test from the importers after it's outdoors. A carbon tripod from a company called Drakensberg and it's called a, a hunting pod light. This is a just a straight physical friction clamp so it'll hold any rifle. You can also get an up and an arca rail combined with a Picatinny base. So and I've been trying out today and it works really well. So I haven't shot anything yet with it because nothing's come out but that's life. As the Germans say, every day is a hunting day, but not every day is a shooting day. The head is the most interesting thing about it. This is a clamp, as you can see, under all the way. You can roll it in this massive ball and socking joint, which is very, very useful. This simply tensions up the rifle clamp. Spin it off. Gun comes out, rubber lined, goes back in, tighten it up. If you want Travis, you undo that there. The whole thing just goes to 360. It's also marked. And it all locks solid. So if, you, if you've got a solid shot coming or you need to be very still, this is a very stable platform to shoot from. Legs are in four sections carbon fibre with rotary locks. These are just three of the sections. The last one comes out about six inches. Got rubber screw off feet. There's catches up here, you just press in and there's locking slots. So you can you can put the legs how you like. And underneath is a little snap carabiner so you can hang weights off it if you want to which stabilises the tripod. Overall it's quite a nice little pod. The Luxiera chair is folding, it's got folding arms, folding back, folding legs. Let's go in there. It's got mesh here, here, padded back, mesh down there, padded under your thighs, very comfy. Wrapped handles, and it swivels as I said before. Just go back and look at that. And it's quiet in use. It doesn't lock, that's the only thing, but I only said it was a big problem. Legs fold up, and there we can see they're in the extended position. Essentially, there's a catch there, and uh, you can pull it out. And I find I'm six foot one, and I find with them fully extended, they're very comfortable. The other great thing is, you can see the feet are what they call duck feet. They're basically a round pad in a ball and socket joint. So what they do 
not only do they support it on softer ground, they also actually conform to the contours of the ground as well. And of course, every essential in an item like this is a drinks holder. In this case, I'm using it for a uh, Lemka Keeler thermal spotter, and it just sits there perfectly. In use, the tripod is very stable and also offers a lot of motion as we, we have seen. However, if you need to do a 360 or a 180, it's very, very easy. Literally take the weight there, spin around in the seat, plonk it down, and you're there to shoot. Like so. It's certainly a lot better than the uh, than the little chair I had and the uh, and the blazer sticks. But that's it. I'm not saying it's perfect, but I tell you what, it made this. I've been sitting out for about two and a half, three hours roughly. And apart from it's a bit chilly, but I've got my warm clothing on and things. It's very comfortable, and sometimes that's what you need if you're sitting out and waiting for stuff. Okay. Hope you liked that, a little bit brief. Tell your friends if you did. Speak to me, pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com. And I'll catch you later some more stuff. But I'll keep you posted because hopefully after the IWA show, the chap from Drakensberg is going to send me the new, his new design, which is even better than this one. Pete Moore signing off.